Alright guys, as we have promised you at the end of our last tutorial, today we're going to show you how to earn Robux from your games. We're going to show you how to script game passes inside your game. So as you can see, I'm inside this game right now, and there is a uh, potion, uh oh, somebody just joined me. So there's a potion bottle here, and that is an invincibility potion bottle. So if I take it, I'm going to become invincible if I buy the game pass. So I'm going to go and buy the game pass now. And you see there is an error. You already own this item. Your account has not been charged. So since I already have this game pass, it's not go it's not gonna let me buy another game pass since I already have this game pass. But now let's say if test skill is gonna go and buy the game pass, and I'm not sure where my friend Brisshan is, but anyway, so let's see if test skill gonna go buy this game pass and let's see what happens. I hope I hope Brisshan is not gonna buy the game pass, otherwise. He would be donating Robux to me, and I would be earning Robux. Teskill is now going to go and buy the Game Pass, and let's see what happened. Oh, I see the message. It says Invincibility Pass, but this is on Teskill screen, so you're not going to see it on my screen, but on his screen. It says Invincibility Pass. So basically, I see a message on Teskill screen to offer him to buy the Game Pass for three Robux. All right, Teskill is going to decline because he's been telling me he is going broke and he doesn't have any money to spend. So he's declining the game pass. Now, let Teskill has declined to buy the game pass. Now, what, let's see what happened when you have the game pass in this game. I don't know what Brissan is doing to me. He's trying to draw my attention here. Let me see. Let me say something to him so he knows what I'm doing. I'm in a tutorial. Anyway, so now I'm going to go and show you what happened if I have the game pass, right? I'm going to go to the skill brick here. Since I'm invincible now, I can walk over the skill brick. And it does not kill me. But you see, test skill declined the game pass, declined to buy the game. Oh, look at that. Brisshand just touched the kill brick and he died. And same thing with test skill. So Brisshand did not buy the game pass. And that's why he died when he touches the, um, the kill brick. Now... Teskill is going to go and touch the kill brick here, and he should die as well. And there it is. Alright guys, so in our last tutorial, we have learned how to create a game pass. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to script the game passes in your games, so you can make Robux from your games. Let's now go to Studio. Oh wow, another person joined in. Look at that. So now we have like four people. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I, I gotta let this guy know I, I'm, I'm, I gotta go. Sorry. Sorry guys. Gotta run. I'm in a tutorial. So as I'm doing the tutorial right now, a bunch of my friends just came in to join me, but uh, I gotta run because I gotta finish this tutorial to show you guys how to make this game pass inside your game. That skill is saying that he does not have any money, he's broke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let him create this game and then we're gonna buy the game pass from him. This is donating Robux to Teskill to give him some Robux. Let us first check to see if Teskill is telling us the truth. So as you can see right here, this is uh, Teskill's profile and he does have zero Robux. And that is why he cannot buy the Game Pass because to buy the Game Pass, you need three Robux. So again, we're going to let Teskill create this game so that we can donate Robux to Teskill. So first, you're going to need to create the Game Passes. So on this screen, you're going to select the game that you want to create the Game Pass for. We're going to click on this game right here. And go to the left hand side menu bar here we're gonna look for passes click on passes on create a pass here you can upload an image for your game pass if you like but it's not required next you can enter the name of the pass and the description of the pass the name is required we name this invincibility pass and the description is gonna make you immune to kill bricks now go down a little bit and click on create pass 
we have successfully created a game pass. Now we're gonna click on our game pass and we're gonna click on sales. We can set the item for sale. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna specify how much to sell this for. So I'm gonna sell this for three Robux. It's very cheap. So if anybody wanna help out test skill, you can come in and buy a game pass from test skill and this way you'll be donating Robux to test skill. From here, we're just gonna click on save. Before I click on save, I just wanna point out, even though we price it at three Robux per pass, test skill is only gonna make two Robux because Roblox is gonna keep 30% of the total. And now let's click save changes. And we're gonna go back to the item. So here you see this game has a game pass and it costs three Robux. If you like, you can click on these three dots and open a new tab. So now, if you want people to donate Robux to you, you, you can copy this link here and send it to your friends to have your friends donate Robux to you. So I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna give it to PriceCP. PriceCP now, as soon as I click on the link, it takes me to this page and then inventory item. So I can click on buy here to buy this inventory item, this pass for three Robux tells you that you can use this pass in this game right here, T001. I'm gonna buy it right here because I'm gonna buy it inside the game to show you how the script works. So we're gonna buy it later, but we're not gonna buy it right now. As you can see here, test skills still have zero Robux. So now let's go to studio and see how we can script this inside our game. Scripts involved. The first script has to do with um, offering the, the players to buy the game pass and we put that inside this invincible potion pass bottle go to our bottle and we're gonna expand the bottle you find a script inside the bottle let's take a look at the first script which is inside the potion bottle and in this script we're offering the game pass to players who touches this bottle so this bottle has a touch event whenever somebody touches this bottle it's gonna offer that player a chance to buy a game pass from this game. How about we go over the script starting from the top. So here we have the part the script dot parent and here we're just declaring the marketplace service, the player service and the game pass ID. So this is how you get the game pass ID. In the creation dashboard the address is create.roblox.com forward slash dashboard forward, forward slash creations. Or you can just go to the creator hub and click on creations here to get to this page. Now on this page, we're going to click on the game that we want to get the pass ID for. And we're going to look for the passes for this game. So click on passes. And here's the pass. So click on the three dots here and copy asset ID. I'm going to paste in that pass ID here. And here's our function. So whenever somebody touches this part, it's going to call this function. First, we're gonna check for a humanoid that is touching this part. If it is a player that touches this part, we're gonna get the player from the character. And if you're not familiar with any of the material that we have gone through so far, you can refer back to our prior tutorials because all of these were done prior to this tutorial. So we're getting the player, if it is a player. And here is the new material right here. If it is the player, we're gonna prompt the player with the game pass. The player, we're gonna use this API, prompt game pass purchase. This API has two parameters. The first parameter is the player. The second parameter is the game pass ID, which we have copied earlier and we place it here. So it show the player a GUI with an opportunity for the player to buy the game pass. The script is inside the kill brick. So my kill brick is the red part right here this red part right here and inside that red part there is a script the first four lines here are the same as our previous script so we don't need to go over that here is a touch event when somebody touches this brick we're checking for humanoid checking for the player if it is a player we're gonna check to see if this player owns a game pass the invincibility game pass so this is where we're checking to see if the player owns this game pass by passing in the player user ID and the ID of the game pass. 
that reminds me, I need to update this game pass ID here. So I'm going to go back over here. This is the ID that we have copied earlier. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it into here. All right, so we're checking to see if the player owns this game pass. If the player does not own this game pass, the player is going to die. We're going to kill the player. On the other hand, if the player owns the game pass, then we're not going to execute this and the player is not going to die. The player is free to touch this part if he, if he or she owns the game pass. And that is all there is to it. Let's now play test and take a look. All right, so that is all that we needed to do. So now I'm inside of test skills game here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hit the brick right now, the kill brick, without buying a game pass. And you can see it killed me immediately. Now next, let's see if test skill can go and buy a game pass. So test skill here is going to run and see if he can buy a game pass for this game. Touches the bottle. Error. You already own this item. Your account has not been charged. Because Alright, so Test Skill is the owner of that game pass, which means he can now go and touch this kill brick and he should be fine. Let's take a look. Here he is. Touches the kill brick and he's fine. On the other hand, I can show you again if I touch that kill brick. It killed me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy a game pass. So I'm gonna go and get this potion bottle here. As soon as I touched the potion bottle, it asked, it prompted me to buy an item. Would you like to buy invincibility pass for three Robux? So I can say cancel here if I don't wanna buy the game pass or, or I can say, yes, I wanna buy the game pass, right? So currently I have 260 Robux. If I buy this for three Robux, I'm only gonna have 257 Robux left. So now I'm gonna buy the game pass, by donate, I'm gonna donate two Robux to test skills, and I'm gonna donate one Robux to Roblox. Let's do it. Your purchase of invincibility pass succeeded. Successful, yay. So now let me see if I can go and touch this brick. Look, I'm standing on top of the brick and I'm okay. For three Robux, I'm invincible. So guys, if you want to donate to Tesco, come by to this game and buy the game pass. And that is how you earn Robux with game passes in your Roblox games. Now, before we end today's tutorial, I just want to check out one more thing to test skills profile and see if he got two Robux. Let's take a look. What? Check that out. He got 8.3 million Robux. That was fast. That's all for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Peace.